understanding what the secrets of attraction marketing are on social media hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about the secrets of attraction marketing on social media now you might have heard about attraction marketing maybe you're doing it yourself maybe you're wondering what are the things that you need to be focusing on you know the most important things that you got to be doing especially on social media to build your audience to use attraction marketing to get those people to actually reach out to you to message you right what are the things that you need to do what are the secrets we're going to get into that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets that's right course income secrets if you want to be selling a course online you want to be building an, an, a business online you want to be selling a product anything you're doing you need to use attraction marketing that's there's no other way other than spending a whole lot of money on advertising which is really really hard these days because the big players are spending lots of money so you as a small business owner as somebody who's trying to build a business online you really need to be using attraction marketing and we're going to get into like what is it first right to make sure we're clear on exactly what I mean by attraction marketing in just a second but before we do that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video and the blog post at cis425.jsgagnon.com because I'm going to be sharing my screen and kind of showing you a bit more information that you can get in just the audio all right so let's get right to it let's share my screen and um hold on right there almost got it all right so let's first talk about oops that's not uh, you're not able to see that right hold on let me move that a bit okay so let's say that we're talking about attraction marketing on social media specifically attraction marketing on social media now well you know the first thing we want to do is you know what is attraction marketing right what is attraction marketing and why do you hear that all over the place all the time right um and oh that's what's wrong <laughs> okay so yeah so what is attraction marketing so you probably already have a big great idea of what it is and you know it's it's all about getting people to reach out to you right so when we think about marketing marketing itself is about getting people to reach out to you right and but typically marketing is all about advertising right so you're going to spend money to do ads and you're basically going to be doing that with attraction marketing or ads it's the same kind of idea you're putting content out there to attract people to your business to you to whatever right and the thing is that you can either have time or money but you can't well usually you don't have both right eventually if you're a millionaire whatever and you're making tons of money on on autopilot and all these things which is really the goal that we all have when we're trying to build a business online usually <laughs> then you're going to be able to have tons of money in tons of time right but until then when you're starting out like me with a with a full-time job with a family with a, you know trying to build something how did I get to the point where I have you know well I mean I have you know 4,000 friends I have um 16 14 15,000 followers on LinkedIn I have uh where what is it 11,000 followers on uh, Twitter I have 4,800 on Instagram I have uh 3,300 on TikTok I've got 3,000 on uh, Pinterest and I have a um, email list as well and all that so I mean how did I get there using attraction marketing I have I'll have to be honest with you I didn't do it right in the beginning definitely I mean I did some things right obviously I grew some things but I mean I didn't I didn't do it all perfectly right right so like attraction marketing what is it right what is attraction marketing we're talking about um <clears throat> posting content 
content to attract to attract your ideal client right <laughs> we're also talking about uh engaging on uh social media to let your ideal client know you are there right so one of the things is that if you are not spending money on advertising then you're you're relying on the platform to actually you know show you to your uh ideal client so th that kind of begs the question right so I mean how do you know how do you know how do you find your ideal client right how do you find your ideal client whoops ideal client I mean before we talk about the secrets right the secrets we need to understand what we're trying to accomplish here and one of the things is finding your ideal client is you know it's just a decision it's just a decision um well actually let's that's the answer to this other question so uh first if you need to decide who your ideal client is right so first you need to decide and I'm going to say I'm going to say here decide so lots of people say find out right they're going to say we got to find out who my ideal client is right you got to find out who it is and the thing is that most of us have something that we think everybody can have so we we're like we don't we don't need to find out we we know it's everybody it's anybody but the problem is that you can't do advertising for that and you can't use do attraction marketing for it either because you're going to be how can I it's kind of like if you were to go you know in the real world and you were to try to attract people to your to whatever it is you're selling say for example you're selling um bolts widgets and bolts and you know and uh, and all you're selling is the stuff you know the screwing bolts right the bolts and the and the I forget what they what do they call rivets or I don't what no they're not rivets but anyways the thing that you screw in and the bolt that you you know hold on to the screw right so let's say you're selling that and you basically go into a city and you take flyers with pictures of your bolts and your phone number or website or whatever it is and you print that on a piece of paper and then you spend you you make thousands and thousands of them because you know they cost I don't know a dollar each or because of the coloring because of the whatever you end up you know making some really nice looking flyers right they're expensive but you know you think they're worth it because you're gonna you're gonna get lots of customers from it so you're gonna spend a whole ton of money on these advertisements to get customers and then you go to the city and you hire a helicopter and you just blanket the city with these flyers by just throwing them in the air and letting them land everywhere that's advertising to everybody so you're basically sending a, a flyer to every single person out there so imagine how much it costs you for the the, the helicopter the printing uh every <laughs> and all that right and then you just blanket the city and maybe you're even going to get a fine for doing it for littering or whatever right but you're thinking it's worth it it's worth it I'm going to get so many customers because everybody's going to see what I have and everybody needs bolts I mean everybody needs bolts at some point right so you're thinking that's going to be great but you know what's going to happen is you're going to get almost no customers from that because you're basically just sending a general message to everybody and nobody feels special nobody feels that you're you care about them you, they just think you're trying to sell something and you're just using these crazy tactics right so you're not going to sell anybody anything to anybody and it's the same thing online you gotta you don't you don't find out who your ID client is you decide you decide decide who your ideal client is you make the decision and you just market to that person in other words your flyers if you were to do it out there right your flyers would be specific to a particular maybe a, a neighborhood and an age group a you know maybe you're closer to schools but then you would have a flyer that talks about you know your kid is breaking your stuff and you need these new bolts these bolts are going to be really much better because they have whatever on them right 
then you're going to be talking to the parent who has kids that break stuff and they're going to see that flyer in their mailbox and they're going to be much more likely to reach out to you because you're talking to them you're talking to them now that feels like oh my god I can't be doing these you know I mean what happens if I if I if I'm if you know a mother needs or mother needs them with that's I, well whatever I, I don't even know right but you know what I mean if you're thinking oh my god what if it's somebody else that needs needs it for another reason they're going to read that flyer and gonna be like that's not for me and they're not going to buy it right and you're probably right but your likelihood of having that you know person with kids that breaks stuff uh take you up on your offer is like astronomically more likely right it's like a crazy number <laughs> so you know that's important to know who your client is because you're going to be talking their language okay that that's kind of the soapbox on client because you know doing attraction marketing before you can do any attraction marketing you need to know who you're trying to attract who is it that you're trying to attract like for example if you're trying to attract uh college students uh you you might have a message for you know partying and uh, going out every Friday night and and going to the restaurant and meeting people and you know and going out dancing and those kinds of things that those younger kids do right but if you're trying to attract an adult uh, an older I guess you know 40 50 year old that has kids that are you know a certain age group then you're going to be talking about things like you know you know your kids going to gymnastic what is how how good are they doing and uh isn't it uh awful how they seem to always get sick every time they start the school year and you know you talk about those things right uh so the messaging is really important and and you need to know what the messaging is to know who to attract but seriously let's get into the secrets of attraction marketing on social media so now that you know who it is that you're trying to attract now we can talk about how you leverage that on social media right so there's there's a few things so let's just say how do you find your ID client and then it's basically all about um uh, 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 creating content with messaging <coughs> messaging they understand okay so I mean there's um I just want to put that in there so we're kind of clear on, on to what we're trying to accomplish here so I mean that's the thing how do you find your ideal client right it's like you got to decide and then you got to create content that they understand which means uh yeah it's, I don't want to go too much into this but uh, very important to know you need to be talking about their pain points and you need to be talking about their you know what what they get pleasure out of so that they are they 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 feel something whenever they see your content right okay so but then how do you get them to see your content right how do you yeah so how do you get them to see your content so on social media there's two ways to get people to see your content number one is pay for it you know ads right so number one so there's two ways so two ways right number one paid ads and number two is engagement engagement so what do we mean by engagement um there's lots of different things you can do on social media for engagement so what what do we mean by engagement right Enga engagement right what do we mean by engagement so number one uh let's just put these these numbers well just like this okay so you need you need if like uh, obviously if you want to do ads you can go hire somebody to do ads or you can do it yourself it's not that hard but still there's lots of things to learn about so I'm not going to get into that right now um we're not talking about doing ads we're talking about but even then here's the thing you have to remember if you want to do ads you probably need to understand how to do it manually without ads because without that you you're going to spend money on ads that don't give you any results right and believe me I know because I've spent 30 40 000 ads in the last five six years and really don't have that much to show for although I do have a few new fans that 
have seen ads and they've came to me because of these ads because I I was starting to kind of understand more about it but still not enough for me to go and spend more thousands on ads I haven't done ads in a while but okay so what do I mean by engagement so the other this like I said the second way the second this is really one of the secrets of attraction marketing is you need to be doing activities that cause engage that are engagement right engagement activities um that will cause the platform to present your stuff to those people let me say that again you need to be doing engagement activities that will out will cause the platform to present your stuff to them okay so here let's write that down here so you need to be doing oops engagement activities that will cause the platform to show your content to your target client let's say right so you need to be doing engagement activities that will cause the platform to show your content to your target client so how do you do that we'll get to that in a second but that's really one of the secrets if you're just posting content on Facebook right because you know engagement is you know there's lots of things posting content right posting content is is a kind of engagement um uh, commenting on other people's posts is another engagement uh study reacting reacting to their content right that's another engagement um what else uh, sharing their content right so their content so well there's different ways of sharing depending on the platform right um also sending a private private message or uh yeah so those are the those are really the only things right so but how does that do what you need right because you could be you could be posting content you could be commenting on other people's posts in your news feed you could be reacting to the content in your news feed you could be going to their profile and wishing them a happy birthday you could be sending a private message saying hey I, I really like that post you posted in whatever place right you could be doing all those things and not doing the most important things or I should say you could be doing those things but not doing them in the way that will give you the most bang for the buck but you know buck in this case is your time right so the amount of time you spend on social media using the right strategies or the right you know um it's like if you're if you're just if you're just doing something and you know like I don't know maybe you have a, a, a picket right with a with an ad on it right and you're just going someplace to get people to see it so that they maybe maybe you have a phone number on there or a website on there and you're going out there and you're you know you're talking to people you're not talking but you're just showing your your thing hey look at this look at this right you're doing that but you're doing it in the parking lot of a church where there's nobody there except on Sundays you're doing that all week in that church parking lot because you know those are the people you're you're interested in attracting maybe but also because it's next door to you and it's easy for you to get to right you're not gonna it's not gonna work because you're you're doing it in a place that there's nobody or your target market's not there right <laughs> so that's the same thing on social media if you're posting content and commenting and reacting and sharing and sending private messages but you're not doing it to the right audience uh, it's not going to work right and the other thing is you got to remember the platform has so so let's just go back down here and just do some more so the platform the platform has rules right like um it has ways that it does things right it has rules it has has algorithms right I'm sure you've heard that word before right it's kind of like 
how it does things with the stuff you give it right so what is it that you're going to give it you're going to give it content you're going to give it uh comments you're going to give it reactions you're going to give it all those things right if, if I look at you know my Facebook profile right I mean I just posted this I just got you know only five comments but still I'm posting stuff I'm getting a few comments here and there I'm getting some some of them I don't get any some of them I get almost none and you know posting stuff that has to do with my my life right I'm posting things I'm getting some reactions I'm getting some engagements I'm getting some that are not right some that are no no results some of the posts don't work for me right so I mean on uh, on LinkedIn I mean on LinkedIn I'm not really that active but here's the thing you have to be careful about doing this what I'm doing right which is posting everywhere doing things everywhere right I mean I I post everywhere but is it really what you should be doing you know when you're starting out they do say you shouldn't be posting everywhere you need to be posting um uh focusing on one platform right and that's kind of what I mean I even have a blog post right do you need a blog post um I don't know right that's the thing so what do you need to build the right engagement is focus and understanding what the secrets of attraction marketing are on social media so here's okay so let's get to it let's get right to the secrets what are the secrets so so what are the secrets then right so what are the secrets you're 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 here that's why you're here yeah you want to know what are the actual secrets so let's just say number one follow the rules of the platform right so you got to follow the rules of the platform if you don't follow the rules of the platform you're going to cause you're going to have all sorts of problems right that's you know that's probably given right um uh, or you'll be sent to jail <laughs> right so I mean like on Facebook for example if you do too much engagement you send too many private messages send too many friend requests you do too much you're going to be caught put in what lots of well what marketers call Facebook jail basically you're going to be blocked from taking actions because you're doing too much so you got to figure out what the rules of the platform are and make sure you play within those rules right because every platform has different rules like for example on Twitter you can't follow more than I think it's 30 people a day on Instagram you can do it up to 150 no real problem uh, but also it's all it's not always about the number of things you can do in a day it's sometimes about the changes from the previous day you can do right so plat some platforms will have rules where they'll let you follow you know 20 people one day and the next day they'll let you do 25 the day after that 30 and well I don't that's an example but those are the kinds of things that change like how many messages you can send in Facebook is not the same when you've been on Facebook for a week than you've been on Facebook for a year right that changes and also depends on your previous activities so that's all you need to know those things right so number two is be consistent with content and who you are marketing marketing to right so you have to be consistent I mean you got to pick you got to pick what kind of consistency you can have is it every day is it a few times a week is it once a week be consistent with your content strategy which is because you do need to be creating content okay you need you if you're not creating content the platform will just eventually forget about you and nobody's going to see any of your old stuff because the platform wants new stuff all the time now that's pretty much a rule across all the platforms where if you want to be seen you got to be posting content regularly right and uh, each platform has different rules and different maximums and things like that like on Twitter I'm posting like I don't know 50 or 100 things a day whereas on Facebook it's usually one maybe two sometimes you know maybe six or seven a week kind of thing um on Insta on LinkedIn it's like once or twice a week so it really depends on the platforms right okay so number three number three is probably I would say the most most important thing is to um how can I word this basically what you want to make sure you're doing is you're not 
you're not always engaging with the same people's stuff so how can I say that so f I guess find new blood uh let's just say every day it doesn't have to be every day it can be every week and you know whatever but just find new blood all the time you got to be finding new blood if you're not finding new people what does that what does that mean right find new 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 uh prospects in groups for example right for example okay so I'm just checking my I, let me move this a little bit more so it's a little bit better so I mean you got to be finding new blood if you're not finding new blood in other words if you're just engaging on the content of the people that you've you know engaged with up to now you're eventually going to you know it's going to run dry right because you'll be engaging with the same people all the time you know, they'll be seeing your stuff great you know they'll they'll get to know you and uh, because you know that's one of the important things in attraction marketing is again people that having people they need to get to well it's not attraction marketing this is really just sales in general before you can sell something before somebody will buy something from you a course or anything they need to know like and trust you so that's one of the most important things no like trust is important but but to build no like trust people need to see your stuff right so that's why you need to be posting consistently where's my, where's my mouse be posting consistently you got to be finding new blood every day because if you don't find new blood you're just going to run dry of the people that kind of you know get used to you and don't really they're not you know they haven't bought from you in six months but they're still seeing your stuff on Facebook because they're your friends or because they're engaging on your stuff you're engaging on theirs but you know maybe they'll they'll probably never buy from you because you know they just they just don't need to they they're just not interested right okay so number four secret number four you know one of the things about online marketing is when is it that it's time to reach out to them right so uh actually yeah let's yeah let's talk about that so no when you should reach out to them so how do you know that how do you know that right how do you know that it's time to re you can reach out to them or you can let them reach out to you and that's you know you can do that too right re letting them reach out to you is okay so or let them reach out to you now obviously letting them reach out to you is definitely more powerful because if they're reaching out to you it's because they either saw something of yours and they think you're a value or you have something to that you can help them with or something like that right um the other thing oh you know what the other thing we, that might have been not no not number five but we'll talk about this right here to make sure so ensure your content is not is is on, let's just say is only 10 to 20 percent promotional that's that's really important in attraction marketing because you don't want people to think you're just a sleazy salesman so that means and there's there's strategies out there to to you know the kinds of content so it's like maybe 10 some say five some say 10 times 10 types of content right um use uh so use use content strategies use content strategies that are kind of like you know a, a process right which makes it easy to follow right uh, and uh, the other thing the other secret that you're going to want to make sure of is leverage leverage the platform so how do you leverage the platform <laughs> what I'm talking about there is leveraging the platforms um reactions to what you do right so take advantage of reactions the platform has. so what is that what are the what are the reactions the platform has right what happens when you do action a what is the reaction the platform has <coughs> you got to learn what those things are 
I can tell you right now there's a few things that I do that are exactly caused by the the platform's reaction like I'm gonna post something when this is a engagement post they talk they, like I said there's engage there's strategies of content right so there's engagement post there's a value post there's a test you know a, a results post a a life post anyways it's a different post right one of the posts I post is a engagement post and that is something where you're looking for others to actually react to your post by asking them a question like saying something like hey uh you know some people will post you know Monday day Monday it's Monday how's what are you planning for the week right that would be just a question like that right or I'm I'm just wondering about the movies to see what are the best movies you've seen in the last little while you know things like that so you post a post that has a question that causes them to react now the thing is that all these things that you do on social media that causes reactions that causes engagement that causes an effect is super 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 critical super super great because you can leverage that like and one of the things I do is I leverage notifications by going and engaging on people's stuff because they get a notification and they see my face in the notification like look if I look at this I got 20 20 um notifications I haven't looked at since this morning and since just maybe an hour ago and you see right here these are people commenting on my posts right and I see see I see their faces I see RJ's face right here I see Carolita's face here I see Ken and their names right so I leverage that by engaging on these people's posts so that they see my name and they see my face in their notifications that's part of the leveraging of um, the effects that your actions have on the platform right so I mean that's uh one of the things and so the number four there where I said no when you should reach out to them right so I mean that's really hard to know unless you're tracking things right so how do you know if it's time to reach out to somebody if they haven't reached out to you Mm, that's a good question and I can't answer that because it depends on your target market depends on your content depends on all sorts of things but I would say that there's a certain like if you're taking the specific actions of commenting on their stuff and and engaging on their stuff and they're seeing you in their notifications so you can these are basically exposures right people seeing you in their stuff in their notifications in their probably in their news feed maybe they go check your profile they look at your actual posts those things are exposures to you and the more exposures that people get the closer they get to liking and knowing you and trusting you and all that stuff so they buy from you right those are kind of the things that happen with uh sales online sales so you gotta you gotta you gotta be able to keep track of those things to know when it's time to reach out to them if they haven't reached out to you and you know one of the things I've done and if you want to you if that's it for today that's it for the secrets but if you want to know a little bit more about something that I built it's a tool that I built <clears throat> that lets me uh keep track of that stuff right so for example by uh here let me just show you this tool I have it's called active group users and basically what it does it gives me a list of who I should be engaging on um because it knows where my target market is hanging out in and I get these names and I can see and I can even sort them by face number of Facebook comments they posted in groups right and I can even <clears throat> see right here who I engaged with uh, how long ago it was two days 197 22 days and there's all sorts of things I can do with it but this is a tool that basically you give it a group and this is one of the things right if you're trying to build a business <clears throat> online you're going to be like finding new blood every day where do you find the new blood every day you find it usually in groups because if you just look at your regular news feed it's going to be people you've engaged with before right it's people that you've been going back and forth and Facebook knows that you kind of know them and you're interested in them to Facebook is going to post stuff sometimes Facebook is going to post or the other platforms right they're going to post something that's new from somebody else based on your engagement and your um your based on your engagement with other stuff right so if, say for example you engage on political things that of your friends well Facebook's gonna know that you're interested in politics and it's gonna post 
political things from other people right that you don't even know um if you're interested in religious or if you're interested in the in spirituality or gardening or working out whatever it is Facebook will do that but you can uh, highly extremely accelerate that by going and finding people in groups because groups is where Facebook is focusing on or other platforms too and you can go and find the people in there because you know for example if you're into weight loss the groups are about weight loss so go find them in there right and that's the kind of stuff that uh you gotta do right so you gotta go find them and then this is what the tool lets you do if you go if I open it up again I'll show you so basically this is uh if you want to go check it out it's uh, active group users let me put the link here uh, right here so it's activegroupusers.com and you can go and check out you, you can get a free trial basically what you do is you put in a group name here right more than one group whichever depending on the plan you have but you put uh, multiple groups there and then you tell it to go and uh, you can schedule it right you can tell it to go at 2 a.m every day kind of thing and it'll go and find the people that are active in those groups so that you can get a list of who's active then after a while you'll get to know how who is most active whoops I should have forgot about that who is most active 56 41 these are the number of comments that these people have posted in the last 30 days so these are the most active people right because they're posting the most and you can also see the first column here number one zero 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 those are the number of posts so Stephanie over here right is somebody who posts regularly she's got three posts in in a in a in a <coughs> uh, bunch in a in a group and sorry three posts in the last 30 days she posted so you can also sort by that if you want you know who's posting the most right who's posting the most cigar here is posting 14 7, 7, 6, 6, 6, 5, right so who's posting the most you can do that too depending on what you're what you're trying to attract but the idea here is that once you've seen somebody who is active you can uh, go to their profile directly by just clicking their profile name it takes you straight to their post I actually posted another episode uh, the other day that talked about how to find people in groups how to find out who's active manually I kind of show you how to do that but obviously the tool helps to just go and do it yourself right so this is <clears throat> this is Shagar he's one of my friends he's uh, been building online and he's very active and the tool shows me that right I can see right here that he's very active right and he posted whoops he posted that he doesn't like whatever uh don't like this everyone thing which I totally agree I don't like it either and he's just posted that and but still that doesn't matter it's not the point the point is that he's posting regularly he's active he's very active so that's uh that's the best way for you to to, to find out and the other thing too is know when you should reach out to them that's one thing the tool gives you as well because over here you can see how many times c23 two seven I can click on this to sort by that but that's the number of visits that I've been to their profile so 39 33 30 24 that's how many times I've been to their profile every time I click their name and go visit their profile the tool keeps track so now I know that after enough time it's probably right it's probably they've seen me enough that they'll actually you know uh, have a conversation with me instead of thinking I'm a sleazy salesman right and that's kind of the secret that you get out of this too all right so hopefully this helped I hope this kind of answered the question of what is a what are the secrets to attraction marketing on social media and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time